In FeatureCam 2016 R2, the cutting order of feature curves in a single pocket feature can now be sorted via a range of user options. The order can be modified to use a dominant axis for either X, Y or Z, ascending or descending, with additional options for direction as well as the capability to override the order by manually moving the curves in the list. The order itself is derived from the start point of the underlying curves and is currently limited to spiral toolpaths only. In this example, you can see I've got a number of features already created, in this case a series of pattern holes. I'm going to turn those off just for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and create some pocket features by first selecting this cream coloured face here. I'm going to go to my edit, select by colour or type, identify those areas and create a pocket and extract with feature recognition. I'm going to go ahead and finish with the default options and say OK. If we play the centerline simulation, just single stepping first of all, we can see that the order in which it's machining has not been dictated and it is simply using the order that it created the curves in. If I was to go and look at the pocket itself, into the boundaries we can see we've got the numbered order 1 through to 8 and this is the order it's chosen to machine those pockets in. I'm going to change this by selecting the manual ordering option and then selecting the sorting button. In this case you can see I've got my axes X, Y and Z and I've got associated control for the ordering. By selecting one of the control options I then also have the option to choose whether I go unidirectional or bidirectional to the next row, column or depth and also comparison tolerance. In this case I'm going to select X ascending and say OK. Note the number order has now changed. And if I say OK and accept that feature and again just using Alt F3 to start my simulation off, we can see that the pocket ordering has now changed. So we're working our way X ascending, working through the pockets in order. If you look at the top here, it's quite easy to identify what that exact order would be. Let's have a look at something that's a bit more challenging, and that's these orange regions here. Again, I'm going to create another feature, so select everything that's orange, another pocket feature, extract with feature recognition, accept the defaults and say OK. And for the time being, I'm just going to turn off pocket one. Again, if we look at the default order, in this case, it's starting at the top, working its way across. And again, we just have simply the pockets created in the order in which they were numbered. If we go back into that feature, look at the boundary list here, you can see we've got 9 through to 20. If I change the manual ordering and change the sorting, for example, to X ascending and say OK, again, we can see that order changes. If I do my simulation again, you can see here we're starting, this one's clearly positioned, this one's two, three. These two are almost identical in terms of their alignment, so it could go for either one of those. But what it does is jumps to this location here. So why does it do that? Well, the reason behind this is just simply down to that start point of the curve itself. What I'm going to do is hide everything, go to my curves and just show these items here and concentrate on these two curves down here. So if we were to analyze the start point of these curves, in this case I'm going to go ahead select this curve, you can see the start point is located at this position, so round about here. If I identify this curve here, you can see the start point is actually further over in X, and this is the way it will dictate the order of our curves. So to get around that, we can choose our manual ordering option. So in this case, I can go into my boundary curves. In this case, you can see I've got one, two, three. So this one's going to be the fourth one. So that's in fourth position. I'll make this one the fifth position. So I'm going to move this up 
the location. I'm going to make this one my sixth, which it is. This one will move into seventh, like so. And maybe work our way up through the part until we're happy. I say OK. I've now chosen my manual order. If I do my simulation, you can see we're starting from this pocket, and this one, then this one, working our way down through those three, over to the next one. And then finishing the feature, like so.